Hey guys, in this video I will take you with me to the CarMax auction to check out one specific Tesla Model S. On the way, I briefly share my plans with Teslas and why we want to buy some of them. I will show you the live auction and why I didn't purchase it. The next day, we purchased an insane 2015 Tesla Model S P85D from the Mannheim auction for $13,700. But it had a huge problem that we didn't know about, which cost too much money to fix. You will see the whole process and how I almost lost my consciousness. Oh my god! Let's get to the story. Guys, today is Saturday, and guess where I'm going? Of course, Carmax Murrieta. To get there, it shows almost two hours, and the uh, full tank for my Camry chose 660 miles after I changed the battery, the hybrid battery. And the one specific car that I want to look at is 2013 Tesla Model S. It has 177,000 miles on it. And there are two issues, visible issues. There's one display over here. One display over here is uh, leaking fluid. This is the common problem for all the Teslas. And uh, why we are looking for a specific uh, specific Tesla is because we want to try and test it on our rentals. It should sell between eight to nine thousand, but sometimes there are some crazy people that will bid higher. Of course, they will win, but uh, our highest bid is eight thousand. If we win for eight thousand, I think it will be great because those two d displays to replace them they cost approximately five to six hundred parts only so labor will do it ourselves and we really want to, uh, to check it to test it on rentals to see that uh, how good they go on rentals and uh, maybe in the future we'll buy more maybe not but uh, i really want to test it out there are a few you know, very interesting things that comes with it first of all there's no more oil change you rent out the car you don't do basically anything if uh, until it for example some part of the car breaks then uh, you will have to do something but as of uh, right now for example renting out no oil change nothing like that which is good the second one is you can always see where the car is located you don't have to buy additional um, like uh, a GPS or something to check out where the car is located and the third one which is very good one is that you always have full control of the car you just add a driver and that driver uh, can drive that car. If, for example, he doesn't pay, just turn off the car or remove his access and he can no longer turn on the car, which is uh, also good. And uh, it makes it um, <laughs> very good to have those kind of cars. You don't have to install additional stuff. The, hard, the main problem that comes with Teslas are, of course, battery, high voltage battery. If you go and buy it, refurbished or stuff like that, it will be approximately ten to even fifteen thousand dollars. But this, in my opinion, will help us to get into fixing the battery itself. And uh, for two, three thousand dollars, uh, I believe that we can fix it. Sometimes even for less. The only difficult part is that to have a spot to remove the battery, which we don't have. But as we are buying it from uh, CarMax, the car is run and drive. So I'm going there to check it out. And uh, we should be good. How it looks like. This screen is bubbling. And all this liquid is from this screen. This main screen also has the same problem. But the car turns on too late. It, it takes uh, too much time to, to have it to turn it on. On the way back, I have some... Uh, mixed feeling after checking out the car so there are one thing that i learned the regular teslas like 60 85 they don't have air suspension air suspension only goes for p85 or those performance version of the old tesla model s and another thing i learned is that i have to if uh, we buy they have to upgrade it to mcu2 because MCU 1 really slow. First of all, the car turns on very slow. And from the small research that I done, that I did while I was there, it, most people, they say that you have to change 
from MCU 1 to MCU 2. So it is basically the head unit of the whole car, which costs approximately $1,000. So as I mentioned before, our highest bid was 8000 Now it uh, downgraded to 7500 I wish it had free supercharging, but it doesn't look like it has free supercharging because it says add a payment method to do supercharging. And uh, Tesla came a long way because 2013 Tesla Model S, comparing to like let's say 26, 20 even 15, is a huge difference. So the one that I checked out, uh, Tesla. We didn't win it because it was too expensive and it sold for $7,750, which in my opinion is a lot. And as I was checking out the Mannheim for a few days, there was one car that uh, Carvana was selling, which was 2015 Tesla Model S P85D. It has 112, close to 113,000 miles on it. And today, we won actually that car for $13,700 and right now we are going there I've got dealer license, uh, dealer plates, my gear, some tools and uh, we'll be heading there, I'll show you everything Alright the man, hey, just look how many cars are in here This is the one Look at this Yes. Wow, a lot of chipset. I've seen it on the picture now. Freaking 21 inch wheels. God damn. A few chips. And here. Looks like the paint is coming off. It looks like this car has been sitting here for a while now. This one is too old. Hey. <laughs> Woo, AC. It's foreign. Okay, turn it on. Yep, the car is on. This is the second time I'm seeing that doesn't have anything in here. How the hell that's possible? What is this? So there are three cars there, two cars here. We'll move these two cars so that we can move out with that. Oh shit! Ugh. Somebody's smoking in here. Alright, let's see. Key. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Alright, beautiful P85D. Let's go, Shiki. The moment we started driving the car, we noticed a loud noise coming from the rear drive unit only when going forward. This is what it sounds like. As we don't have any experience with Tesla Model S, we thought maybe it was not a big deal. Also, as the car was made in 2016, there was a chance that the car had unlimited free supercharging. But there was another surprise. As we were at the supercharger, this is the sign that it didn't make us very happy because it means that we don't have free unlimited supercharging, unfortunately. But okay, what can we do? Nothing. So I called Tesla to add my, this car into my account. And also when you want to do it, you have to tell them that you are sitting at a supercharger and you cannot get to your destination. And that's why, that's how they will do it faster. It will take like a, probably one hour for them to add it into your account. But if you don't say that you are in a rush, they won't do it. And uh, you will have to wait like three to five business days, I believe, for them to to add it into your account. Oh, 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Wow! <laughs> this is this is truly insane. This is insane, guys. It's the next day, and I'm looking at the app, and it doesn't give me any option like Model Three has to use my phone as a key. For example, come here, phone key disenabled on the Model Three, but uh, this Model S doesn't have one. So I want to check if I can still use my mobile phone as something that I could open and sit in the car or no. Okay, I can just open it. And let's see. No. No, I still need my car my key. That's a bummer. I thought that all the Teslas have it, but it looks like uh, the old Teslas, they don't have this option, which is a bummer. I did a lot of research yesterday. I went to sleep at like 3 or 4 a.m. I did everything that I could. There were a lot of uh, videos in a Russian language that I found about the drive unit and everything. And here and there they showed how they do it. And uh, today I actually called TSK. This is uh, this guy. I've been watching them since 2015 or 16 uh, when they first started doing it back in uh, Ukraine. And a uh, few years now they opened a uh, location here in LA. And uh, very happy for their progress to be honest. And I called them to find out the pricing. And they said the only way to find out the pricing if you drive the car here. And they'll do their inspection and they will tell how much it will cost to replace it or uh, if there there's a possibility to rebuild it, stuff like that. And uh, I have an appointment at 4, so we'll drive there and see what they say, how much it will cost. <laughs> well, I made a rookie mistake. It looks like I uh, don't live in LA for a long time. Basically, when I checked it out, how long does it take to get there, it showed me one hour. But... When I started going, it shows me one hour and 30 minutes. So I'll be basically 30 minutes late. I hope that they will still uh, do inspection for me because 30 minutes being less late from the appointment is not the best thing. And uh, trying to get there as soon as possible. The car is great, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's so... It is still possible for us to arbitrate this vehicle, basically return it to Manaheim where we bought it. But we want to check out, for example, how how much does it cost for them to repair it. From the research that I've done, um, so those uh, rebuilt kits, there are a few bearings, a few seals that needs to be replaced. But the whole job takes a lot, a lot of time to, to do because uh, you have to drop down the engine and uh, in order to drop down the engine most likely you have to drop down the subframe so that's a lot of work and that's why people charge good amount of money the whole the whole kit itself with a few uh, like two or three bearings and a few seals they cost approximately one thousand dollars and uh, most of them that I could find on eBay they are from Ukraine so basically you have to order it from Ukraine which is nuts there should be uh, some place in California where you can buy all those stuff. Because the car was made basically in California, but uh, parts you have to order from Ukraine, which is nuts. And uh, from the whole research that I've uh, done, it looks like um, you Ukrainians are on, on the top of this game. Whatever you want to do, whatever video that you watch, especially in Russian speaking language, most of them, they are in Ukraine. And they fix stuff in Ukraine. Not only Teslas, all type of EVs, which is quite amazing. Well, they did inspection. Doesn't look good. They uh, said it's better to return the car because it will cost a lot of money. And uh, the engine is in the end of its life cycle. But it's not about that. Just look at how beautiful this Model S looks like. This white body. Most likely they did it themselves. Not most likely, for sure they did it themselves. God damn, it looks beautiful, man. 
carbon fiber. This one, oh, this is uh, it's called rock. I've seen a video of this one for years now. <laughs> Just look how beautiful this is, man. Ah, damn. But uh, they charge a lot of money, though. And, uh... They said it doesn't make any sense to do this job here because first they charge a lot of money for the labor. It'll cost like five, uh, five, six thousand. And uh, the guy who checked it, he said they don't nowadays work with this kind of old cars, and they recommend to buy Model Three, Model Y. Uh, not specifically the owner, but uh, other workers here. And I asked about uh, MCU, if for example you replace MCU, so it is easier to do it at the Tesla service, because they will charge like $1,800, but here it said just labor costs $1,800. It's very expensive to do anything in here. I didn't know that. I saw the owner and I... Uh, I uh, even lost the, the train of thought. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> because I got the star, star shock, or what they call it, when you watch a lot of videos of the same person for years now, and uh, you accidentally see them. It is, it's freaking nuts. Well, as I have this short moment, I want to floor the gas pedal on this insane car. I want to feel what it is like. It's not insane plus yet, it's just insane. Let's try it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! I want to try it one more time. It is not ready yet to be insane plus, but it was even better than insane itself. <laughs>